America is known as the land of opportunity, where one could achieve anything they put their mind to, no matter who they are. Thousands of people immigrate to the United States every year from different parts of the world to have access to these kinds of opportunities. This is what is known as the American dream. One of the many reasons America is such a great country is the diversity you see all around. America is one big melting pot of citizens from different backgrounds. America is also home to many of the world's top colleges and universities. The California Institute of Technology is a top world-ranked college that focuses highly on science and engineering. It is located in the city of Pasadena. Harvard University is another top world-ranked college that you might be familiar with. The buildings at Harvard date all the way back to the year 1636, making Harvard the oldest university in the United States. It is located in the state of Massachusetts. University of California, Los Angeles is another institute worthy of recognition. Located next to Hollywood, UCLA has distinguished itself as a prestigious and selective university due to the number of people who apply for admission throughout the United States. The universities mentioned are but a few of the many other excellent schools that make the United States so outstanding. America is also known for being at the forefront of freedom and equality. Although our history may be contradictory to these ideals, we have progressed and now live in a land of equal opportunity. Whether you wish to become a doctor, a lawyer, or a librarian, America is the best place to be at to achieve these dreams. The 4th of July is the United States' celebration of its independence from England. It is the day when the Declaration of Independence was adopted by the new country's forefathers and is a national holiday. It has been celebrated every year since 1776. Americans hold this day as one of the most revered holidays in the country. Independence Day celebrations include fireworks shows that are held by various organizations throughout the country. The shows are held at stadiums, recreational parks, and private homes. Additionally, many businesses have giveaways and special discounts for all residents on this day. The fireworks shows are best at stadiums, where they attract a large number of people. This is a recent change in the way Americans celebrate the day. In the past, most people bought their own fireworks from vendors who sell their goods in supermarket parking lots. The reason many cities no longer allow the sales or use of fireworks is because of the fire hazards they pose. This is why the large professional celebrations stadiums and parks have become popular in recent years. Of course, many people still celebrate at home, though. There are some cities where sales and use of fireworks are still legal, and many Americans take full advantage of this. Another Fourth of July tradition is the backyard barbecue, the holiday occurs in the middle of summer, and Americans love to grill outdoors to avoid the heat inside the house. Hamburgers and hot dogs are the food of choice, but steaks are also prepared often. There is nothing better than a great American meal and a cold drink celebrating the 4th of July. It is a popular holiday, and it is one that has great meaning to most Americans. The United States government is composed of three major sections. It is based on the Constitution of the United States of America that was put into effect in May 1789. The three parts of the U.S. government are the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. Each branch works independently of the other two, and each has its own responsibilities. This system is in place to ensure that no branch can carry more power than the other. This is called the separation of powers, which was written into the Constitution. The executive branch is the branch that most Americans are familiar with. It includes the President of the United States, the Vice President, and the Cabinet. The President is the leader of the country and is the Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. military, the vice president is second in command and will act as president if the president dies, resigns, or is removed from office. The cabinet acts as agents of the U.S. president and carry out the duties they are entrusted with. The legislative branch of government consists of the House of Representatives and the Senate. Together, they form the Congress, which can levy and collect taxes, 
mint money, and establish federal courts. It can also declare war and raise and support the Army, Navy, and Air Force to protect the country. The House of Representatives has 435 members, and the Senate consists of 100 senators with two from each of the states. Any legislation or new law must be approved by both the House of Representatives and the Senate. The judicial branch is entrusted to apply the laws created by the legislative branch of government. It has the power to create lower courts under the Supreme Court of the United States. It works closely with state courts, although they are separate. Christmas observed on December 25th is a Christian holiday that celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. Christians of different denominations go to church on Christmas. Many Catholics go to Midnight Mass. In the United States, however, the holiday has a much more secular tone and is celebrated throughout the country. Many people, regardless of their religion, put up and decorate a Christmas tree. The tree can be a real evergreen or it can be an artificial tree. Lights, strings, tinsel, and even popcorn can be used to decorate a Christmas tree. On the top of the tree is a star or an angel. The decorations are usually red and green. The purpose of a Christmas tree is to have a central location to place gifts. According to legend, a jolly fat man with a beard named Santa Claus leaves presents under the tree. Children in the U.S. often write lists of things they want Santa to bring them. Many parents bring their children to shopping malls across the country to tell a man dressed as Santa what they want. These children are often also photographed with the mall Santa as a keepsake. On Christmas Eve, many children leave milk and cookies for Santa. Of course, it is the parents that buy the gifts from the wish lists and even eat the cookies and drink the milk. On Christmas Day, children usually wake up early and run to the tree so they can see what Santa brought them. Adults can also exchange gifts at this time. People don't just decorate a tree at Christmas. Many also elaborately decorate their homes with lights. Some of the displays are even synchronized to Christmas songs called carols. Originally, these songs were religious, but now they are about the spirit of the season. New Year's Day officially begins as soon as people yell, Happy New Year! at midnight. Most people continue partying well after midnight into the wee hours of the first day of the New Year. In fact, many New Year's parties include breakfast or brunch. Sometimes, at the stroke of midnight, there will be fireworks, and couples often kiss. One of the most famous New Year's celebrations takes place in New York City's Times Square, where a huge cut crystal ball drops at midnight in front of millions of people standing in the cold. Many more millions watch on television. Some groups, called polar bear clubs, jump into the cold ocean water on New Year's Day as a literal way to start the New Year fresh. New Year's Day, January 1st, is a national holiday in the United States. This means that schools, banks, government offices, and post offices are closed. Given how much people tend to drink alcohol on New Year's Eve, many people wake up on New Year's Day with a hangover. The national holiday is a good day to recover. Many people go out partying with their friends on New Year's Eve. Many people use New Year's Day to visit family members. New Year's Day is also when many people start on their New Year's resolutions. A resolution is a promise to change a lifestyle habit. The most common resolution is to lose weight. Many people also join gyms as part of their resolutions. On New Year's Day, there are also parades, such as the famous Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena, California, where all the floats are made of different colored roses and they compete for awards. Many people also watch college and professional football games, including the Rose Bowl, which is also held in Pasadena, California. The third Monday in January is an American federal holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It falls near the birthday of the civil rights leader, who was assassinated in 1968. King, a minister, became known for non-violently protesting the treatment of African Americans in the United States and laws that discriminated against blacks. Specifically, King protested segregation that separated blacks and whites in public restrooms, public pools, public schools, on buses, and at restaurants. King led many marches in the United States, especially in the South, where segregation was especially practiced and enforced, 
and in Washington, D.C., his march on Washington, D.C. was perhaps his most famous one, where he gave the I Have a Dream speech. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, federal, state, and local offices are closed, including public schools and post offices. On the holiday, many people participate in marches and vigils remembering Dr. King. Others use the day as a day of service and volunteer in their community by cleaning up garbage in a local park or serving food to the homeless. However, the holiday was controversial. Some states didn't want to honor Dr. King and tried to rename the holiday or combine the day with another holiday. Only two other people have a U.S. national holiday, Christopher Columbus and George Washington. Martin Luther King Jr. Day became a holiday in 1983 after pressure from civil rights activists and marches, similar to the ones King used to lead. Efforts to create a King holiday began the same year King was killed. The first state to recognize King Day as a holiday was Illinois. The last state to recognize the holiday was Arizona. Valentine's Day, February 14th, is a holiday that celebrates love and friendship in the United States. Most people think of it as a romantic day to show the one you love how much you care by purchasing cards and gifts. Valentine's Day is also an extremely commercial holiday. People spend money on flowers, balloons, chocolate, stuffed animals, and jewelry. People also go out for expensive dinners. Valentine's Day is even celebrated by school children who give thank you cards to their teachers. Some high schools have Valentine's Day dances. Classmates give each other little cards. These cards can be purchased at any store with famous cartoon characters. It is considered much more thoughtful to have kids make handmade cards to give to friends and teachers. Valentine's Day is also a great day to announce your love to someone like a secret crush. Some people even get married on Valentine's Day. However, you don't have to be in love to share in the festivities. You can say Happy Valentine's Day to friends and co-workers. Valentine's Day is not an official holiday, though in the U.S., meaning government offices and schools are open as usual. The date used to be the celebration of a saint named Valentine, who allegedly saved a young girl's life. It wasn't until the Middle Ages that romance somehow got mixed in with the date, and the lovers would send each other handwritten love notes. Back then, you couldn't just go to the store and buy a card the way you can now. You know Valentine's Day is around the corner when stores begin to decorate with red and pink hearts and the symbol of Cupid. A winged, ancient Roman god said to strike the hearts of people with his arrow. Now it seems Cupid goes straight after your wallet because you will also see many more jewelry ads as Valentine's Day approaches. St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, is a Christian religious holiday that celebrates the patron saint of Ireland. According to the legend, St. Patrick drove all the snakes out of Ireland. St. Patrick's Day has also become, especially in the United States, a day to celebrate Irish culture. In major cities across the country, like in New York and Boston, there are parades and festivals. People wear green and decorate with shamrocks, a type of three-leaf clover. Some people wear buttons or t-shirts that say, Kiss me, I'm Irish. In the U.S., St. Patrick's Day is not a legal holiday, meaning government offices and schools are open. The biggest and oldest parade takes place in New York City. It actually began about 250 years ago before the U.S. was even its own country. Every year, thousands gather along to watch hundreds of Irish step dancers and bagpipe players march. Irish step dancing is done in groups or solo. Dancers perform complicated moves with their feet and legs while keeping their upper bodies stiff. The parade has also been a source of controversy because the parade is associated with the Catholic Church in New York City. Gay and lesbian organizations have not been allowed to march. Many people protest the parade or boycott it. St. Patrick's Day has also become associated with the drinking of a lot of alcohol, specifically beer. One drink that is often seen around the holiday is green beer. This is really just regular beer with green food coloring. Many people feel like the holiday celebrates stereotypes about the Irish, like the myth that they all like to drink and get drunk. Others complain that the holiday has become too focused on drinking, with public drunkenness as a problem in major cities around the holiday. Easter is a Christian holiday that celebrates the resurrection of the dead of Jesus Christ as told in the Bible. Christians are found in church on Easter. 
Some Christians participate in an Easter vigil or nighttime mass, sometimes held by candlelight. Easter is never on a set date. It is observed on a Sunday between the end of March and the end of April. The exact date is calculated based on a different calendar. Many public schools in the U.S. have a week-long vacation around Easter time. Sometimes this break is called Easter or Spring Break. In the United States, Easter is also celebrated as a secular holiday. It is associated with the beginning of spring and symbolized by bunnies, flowers, and dyed eggs. Many children in the U.S. believe in a fictional character called the Easter Bunny. According to the myth, the Easter Bunny leaves baskets full of candy for children. Sometimes these baskets are hidden, and the children have to find them on Easter Sunday morning. Candy that is usually inside an Easter basket can include chocolate in the shape of bunnies or chicks, jelly beans, and marshmallows. Another activity associated with Easter is an Easter egg hunt. According to popular mythology, the Easter Bunny hides painted eggs and children need to find them. While real eggs used to be used, now it is common to use plastic eggs filled with candy. There are usually public Easter egg hunts in parks across the country. The White House even hosts an Easter egg hunt. Another Easter tradition associated with Easter is dyeing real eggs in different, usually pastel, colors like light pink, blue, and yellow. In New York City, people take to Fifth Avenue to participate in the Easter Parade. The Easter Parade isn't a parade with marching bands and floats. People walk up and down Fifth Avenue showing off elaborately decorated hats or Easter bonnets. Mother's Day is a holiday that celebrates and honors mothers in the United States. It is celebrated on the second Sunday in May. It became an official holiday in the country at the start of the 20th century as a way to honor mothers whose sons had died in war. The holiday is celebrated in a number of ways. People give mothers gifts like flowers, cards, and jewelry to thank them for all their hard work. A popular symbol of the holiday is the carnation. This is because when the holiday first began in the U.S., people were encouraged to wear a red carnation if their mother was alive or a white carnation if their mother was dead. Many people take their mothers out for a special meal. In fact, Mother's Day is the most popular date in the U.S. for people to go out and eat, and it is estimated that people spend billions on meals and gifts. Mother's Day is also the most popular day to make long-distance calls in the U.S., it is the second most popular gift-giving day after Christmas. Since its establishment, Mother's Day has been criticized for becoming highly commercialized. In fact, the founder of the U.S. holiday, Anna Jarvis, began protesting the holiday and was even arrested for disturbing the peace for demonstrating. Jarvis's own mother started the campaign to establish a mother's holiday during the American Civil War. Mothers are not the only people celebrated on this day. All mother figures, including grandmothers, great-grandmothers, stepmothers, and foster mothers, are honored on the holiday. In schools, many students make special gifts, including handmade cards. While widely recognized, Mother's Day is not a federal holiday. Many other countries around the world have their own version of Mother's Day. Father's Day is a holiday observed in the United States to honor fathers, fatherhood, and other paternal figures like grandfathers, stepfathers, and uncles. It is observed on the third Sunday in June. In the early 20th century, there was a mining accident in West Virginia that killed almost 400 men. A push for a day to remember the men killed, who were mostly husbands and fathers, was the start of a push for a national holiday. This was in 1908. It wasn't until 1972, however, that Father's Day was recognized by law as a national holiday. This is due in part to the fact that people were resistant to what they saw as another overly invented holiday meant to just make people spend money. It wasn't seen as a way to remember the dead or to honor living fathers and father figures. People weren't entirely wrong. Organizations representing men's clothing manufacturers put in a lot of money for the holiday to become popular. Like Mother's Day, it indeed is a holiday that has become highly commercialized. There are greeting cards to mark the day, 
and stores advertise gifts for dad. These gifts traditionally include electronics, ties, and tools. In schools, children often make cards and other gifts. Father's Day is not a federal holiday, even though it is widely celebrated. Some of the ways Father's Day is celebrated is with meals, especially barbecues since the holiday falls at the beginning of the summer. Memorial Day is a United States holiday to remember the men and women who have died while serving in the armed forces. The armed forces include all branches of the U.S. military. Those branches are Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. Memorial Day is a federal holiday, which means government offices, banks, post offices, and schools are closed. Memorial Day is always observed on the last Monday of May. Memorial Day has its roots in the U.S. Civil War, when a holiday, Decoration Day, was established to honor both Union and Confederate soldiers who died. On Decoration Day, people used to decorate the graves of deceased soldiers with flags and flowers. The name Memorial Day became more widely used after World War II in the late 1940s. However, the holiday wasn't officially called Memorial Day until 1967. Memorial Day is commemorated by ceremonies in cemeteries across the country. The most well-known one is held in Arlington National Cemetery near Washington, D.C. Arlington is a military cemetery, meaning only military personnel are buried there. Volunteers place U.S. flags on military graves at Arlington and other national cemeteries. There are also parades in honor of fallen service people held in different towns and cities. Another Memorial Day tradition is flying the U.S. flag at half-staff until noon, meaning it is flown at half its normal height. This is considered a sign of mourning. The flag is raised to its full height after noon as a sign that the military will rise up despite the loss. There is also a National Memorial Day concert that takes place on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol. Memorial Day is also known as the unofficial start of the summer season. Many beaches and pools open up for Memorial Day weekend. Many people also host barbecues on Memorial Day weekend.